Hello everybody, it's me, Spartacite here with another tank review video. Today we're doing the Soviet T-18 land tank, mod 1930, or more commonly known as the MS-1. So, this kit is by Hobby Boss and is in 130-bit scale. It's got stuff, you can read this. Here's the dimen- ooh, voice crack. Here's the dimensions. It's side of the box, got some photo edge and stuff. Let's check out this side, it's more details. Here's the top, front and back. And there's that, there's this. Now, there's that, there's nothing on the back, so let's uh, get into this. Actually, I might stop here so I can open this. All right, the box has been opened, and the first thing you see is these. So this is uh, some advertisements. It's very crinkled. So May 2017 magazine for new stuff. So yeah, here is the painting scheme. You can look at this. Is there anything on the back? There's nothing on the back. Here's the paints you're gonna need. Mr. Hobby stuff, Tamaya. Don't give it to Maya stuff. So yeah, here is the instructions. I'll go over this after the kit. So I have already removed all the plastic bags along with other stuff. So let me, I'm picking up something right here. So uh, yeah, so let's go over to this section. So first we have the lower hole. Give you a quick run around with this. Here we go. Yeah, oh, that's the table. Okay, here we have the upper hole. Oh, yep, okay. And here we have the turret. Yep, someone's shouting in the background, but okay. Here we have the photo edge. And I think decals are on this side. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so on to the trees. First, we have tree A, which is the little unditching thing. Up, uh, yeah. We got fenders, plate, suspension, stuff, not suspension. Uh, just, we got the gun, tools, and all that stuff. Here's the back side of these. There we go. So that's tree A. Here we have tree uh, E. It has the drive wheel, drive sprocket, the machine gun, oh, turn rollers. I don't know what this is. Some hatches and all that yeah, stuff. There we go. That. Here we have tree D, which is the road wheels. Uh, another drive sprocket. Maybe I'm wrong on the other one, but. Uh, yeah, stuff, there we go. So we do in fact get two of these for each side, so yeah. And now onto tree uh, B, which is the cupola, the lower turning part of the turret, and the gun, there we go. That's tree B, that's good, there we go, that's good. And now we have the tracks, which is tree, uh, C, so there we go, is this side. Do a close look at these. There we go. So we get two of these, and now on to the instructions. Okay, here's the first panel down. Feel free to pause if you want to read this. So this is the booklet style, which is the superior style of instructions, don't at me. Uh, okay, here's the trees. There you go. And there you go. Yes. There's the decals. So yeah, I think the, the decals... Oh yeah, okay, here are the decals. I, I missed these. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but the decals are in there. So here is step one, which is putting together the suspension. No cement. It looks like these wheels are going to be workable. That's what he needs. I don't know if the tracks are gonna be workable, so. Uh, yeah, no cement. Step two, which is putting the suspension onto the lower hole along with this driver thing that the driver has, which has its use. So yeah, along with the tensioning, uh, this thingy. Yeah, okay, I don't know these terms. So step three is putting on 
a steering mechanism, I think. I, I don't know what this is. I think, no, that's, it's the tensioning mechanism because that's the thing that spins and that's how you pull it. Okay, yeah, there's that. Here, you got the drive wheel. So you gotta go make two of these. So that was wrong, that's not the return roller. So yeah, then there's that, which is this, which is putting the upper hole on the fenders along with the, the return idler wheel, whatever it's called. Here's step four, which is putting the upper hole onto the lower hole. And here's that, we want the hatches. Here's the photo edge. There we go. And now it's in the next page, which is gonna be very hard to do. Step five, which is attaching the photo edge part to the, it's not entirely photo edge, but it's still there, to the back of the tank. Here's adding detail to it, the, the hooks. And here is the unditching thingy. Yep. Uh, step six is putting more stuff on there. Step seven is putting together the whole, the amount of the links. So it looks like a link in length, but it's not. So it just tells you how many there are supposed to be. So there we go. And then there's the track being put on. And then the last step is putting together the turret. So it looks like the gun can move independently of the of the turret. So that's pretty neat. It's it's like the R35 with the the gun like that. So I believe that's how it goes. So yeah. Wait, no. No, that's just one part. Okay, never mind, it doesn't do that, but it can in the real tank. So there we go. Step eight. Turret stuff, and there we go. Uh yeah. In the back, there it is. And if you really just want to look at these magazines, here you go. Stuff. And uh, what else do we have? We have this one. The Alaska. Neat. Scan these if you want. And there we go. There we go. Read this if you want. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this review, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.